Greetings. Hello, everyone. My name is Carrie Miller, and I have the honor and privilege of welcoming all of our guests, panelists, and participants to NYU's annual Inside American Politics Dialogue, convened by the NYU John Bradamus Center. I am a recent newcomer to the NYU family, joining NYU DC as the site's program director in September, and on behalf of our faculty, staff, and DC student body, we are thrilled to welcome everybody here for our first hybrid event since March 2020. So can I have a round of applause? Yay! So prior to joining the NYU team, I was on the faculty and administration of Howard University through the pandemic as an educator. So I'm sure I'm not alone in really um, appreciating times where we can get together in person. So this is a wonderful day in my opinion. So while we enjoy being live and in person, we are very much following all NYU safety protocols to protect our community and our guests from the spread of COVID-19. So we all have on our mask in the audience. I also want to welcome and appreciate our audience members who are joining us via Zoom. We hope that you enjoy the convening as much as we are going to do here today. So it is with gratitude, appreciation, and admiration that our community welcome our many distinguished speakers for this three-part convening. So, and I personally would like to thank our guests and our panelists for uh, entering our homes and being our podcast host and just filling us in on what's going on from the day to day. So we look forward to this conversation and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I will pass things over to Ellen Toscano who will talk more about the details of the convening. Thank you, Carrie. And uh, I too have the pleasure of welcoming you to the 15th annual Inside American Politics Conference. <laughs> Shocking. Um, wow. Um, which I co-founded with Bob Shrum in 2007 on the beautiful campus of NYU in Florence as part of its uh, La Pietra Dialogues <gasps> series. Rest in peace. <laughs> this is, this is, I, no. This is um, our first time at NYU DC, um, and I thank the director, Carrie Miller, and my co-organizer and friend, Tom McIntyre, who's somewhere in the house. Oh, there he is. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. So I remember off-year conferences um, as being kind of uh, forward-looking towards the midterm um, elections. And while we certainly will do the midterms um, in our conversations today, events of the last several weeks, in particular on Tuesday, <clears throat> have given us a lot of breaking developments to ponder, most specifically the um, gubernatorial races in Virginia and New Jersey, but also local races and local referenda across the country. So what conclusions can we draw about the direction of the Biden administration, Biden presidency, but also about the evolution of President Trump's influence in the Republican Party? And I will leave the stage uh, to our experts to answer those questions with gratitude to all of our panelists for their availability, their insight, their wisdom and their dedication to our annual project of civil discussion of politics across party lines, across ideologies, but always with respect and a sense of common purpose. A special thanks to Lynn Brown, who is the executive director of the John Bradamus Center, and also in her spare time, the senior vice president for university relations and public affairs of NYU. Um, uh, so thank you, Lynn, for joining us, for sp always supporting this project, and for being with us in, uh, as much as your schedule allows. Again, and forever, I thank Steve Madden, who's not in the room right now, uh, for his leadership in bringing us together. 
his Rolodex and reference lost on students, I think, um, and for his friendship. So before, uh, so I also have the responsibility of uh, introducing the moderators. I will start with the second panel, um, which will be moderated by Betsy Fisher Martin. She, Betsy is an Emmy Award winning <sighs> morning journalist. I'll give her a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Former Lucky. TV news executive, currently the executive director of the Women in Politics Institute at the American University, and a member of the International Advisory Council of APCO Worldwide. Um, I am truncating these biographies. I hope everybody understands these are uh, people with very extensive um, backgrounds, very impressive backgrounds. But in the interest of time, I'll be short. The final panel will be moderated by Lisa Benenson. Lisa is part of the extended NYU family. There she is. She is the Vice President for Communication and Strategy at the Brennan Center for Justice. Prior to that, she led communications for some of the world's leading not-for-profits, not such as UNICEF and the Natural Resources Defense Council. But our first panel will be moderated by Kiki McLean, whose phone is ringing. Really, Kiki? Kiki. <laughs> I thought I had Which reminds me, turn off your phones. Um, Kiki is a leading public affairs and political strategist uh, and treasurer of the Democratic Governors Association, veteran of six presidential campaigns and still standing. Six. Oh my God. Kiki. <laughs> Kiki also, see, there we go. Kiki also established the Walton Family uh, Political and Communications Office and previously served on the boards of Polaris and the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. And so thank you. Welcome. Enjoy the uh, conversation. And I turn it over 